Welcome to the HP DesignJet How to Use video series. In this episode, I will discuss how to print files from a USB flash drive on the HP DesignJet T920, T1500, and the T2500 EMFP. You can print directly from the USB files that are compatible like TIFF, JPEG, HPGL2, or RTL. Or if you have a PostScript enabled printer, you can also print files like PDF or PostScript. Now, to start the process, you need to have a USB flash drive containing one or more files, and you just insert that into the uh, USB slot on the front panel. At the touch screen, select print, then press the USB drive, and then you will see a list of the files that you have on the USB. Select the file that you want to print. Files that cannot be printed are indicated with a question mark icon. You can also select folders to browse their contents. Once you select the file, you will see the default settings are displayed. If you want to change them, press settings. The following settings are available. Size. This allows you to resize the print in two different ways, to a percentage of its original size or to fit a particular paper size. The default is 100%, which is the original size of the file. Print quality. This allows you to set the print quality to, be to best, normal, or fast. Color. This allows you to choose color, grayscale, or black and white printing. Roll allows you to specify printing on roll 1 or roll 2 if applicable, or you can choose save paper, which automatically chooses the narrowest roll on which the print will fit. Paper output. This allows you to directly output to the output stacking tray, which is the default, or to the output basket. Manual mode. This allows you to select to print with the output stacking tray open or closed. Collate allows you to, to turn collation on or off. Page order allows you to choose first page on top or last page on top. Rotation. This allows you to rotate the print by any multiple of 90 degrees, or you can choose automatic, which rotates the print automatically if that will save paper. And lastly, printer margins, which allows you to change the default printer margins. Now, to return to the previous screen after changing the settings, you can click anywhere on the screen, or you can click on the return button. To display a preview of the printed job on the touch screen, press the preview icon. When the preview is displayed, you can press, press it to zoom in on it. If you want to return to the previous screen, press the return icon. When you are satisfied with the print settings, select the print button. After printing, you can choose to print another file or go to the job queue. If you print another file immediately without returning to the home screen, the temporary settings used for the previous file are used again. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more in-depth product information, I recommend that you refer to the user's manual which ship with your printer on a CD. Or you can download it at hp.com under the support tab.